Hi there, Poppin' PJ here, and I got this cool wooden cat mask. Wow. Wow. And we're gonna do something really cool with it. So, we're gonna paint it first. So I got this mask at the Dollar Tree and thought it was just so cool. And at the time, I knew what I wanted to do with it when I saw it. So I'm starting out painting the wooden mask and I'm starting with black, mixing it up really well. So I'm going to take and paint our Halloween cat black. Look at me, look at me. This is what we have so far, off to a good start. Now to paint around the eyes yellow. The inside of the ears. Now we are going to paint the periphery of our mask orange. It's going to make the parts painted black pop. I am sketching this long rectangle and the approximate position that I want the toilet paper to come through because we are making a Halloween toilet paper mask. I am using a large drill bit on my drill press and I'm just making holes all the way across my rectangle, but I decided to go a little lower so the holes are right under my rectangle I made. Now I'm just sanding the fraying of the wood with a piece of sandpaper with my hand and with my sander just to get it nice and cleaned up and smooth. We don't want any splinters in our booty from our toilet paper. Now do we? <laughs> I'm putting this scrap piece of wood on the back of the mask because I need a little distance from the toilet paper holder for the actual toilet paper so that it can smoothly go through our mask. I am using my drill press to make a hole straight through the little piece of wood because I had an idea, but then I ended up doing something else as you will soon see. But hey, I kind of just eyeballed the perfect hole on either side. As you can see, a zip tie goes right through here and that's what I was going to use at first. I am going to cut this paint stirrer into parts because I want to have a backing for the eyes and you will soon see my idea. See how I painted the eyes green and there's a little slit with the two stir pieces next to each other. And I'm just gonna use this X-Acto knife and make it a little bit larger because we're gonna have this cat have fiery eyes. There's a little sliver of wood I cut. This cat's gonna be so cool. This toilet paper mask is gonna be the bomb. It's gonna be popping. Next, I'm going to put this Velcro that has adhesive onto the paint stirrer. Now I'm going to cut two more pieces to go around our little Dollar Tree LED flameless candle lights. Velcro on one candle, turn it on, stick it on the other part of the Velcro, and it stays in place. And we're gonna do the same thing for the other candle. I'll give you a little sneak peek, check it out. I had to build up our little piece of wood on the back of our kitty um, to have more room for the toilet paper roll. So I just put these pieces together with wood glue and now I'm just drilling holes and drilling in some screws. Two of the screws I'm going to leave sticking out so I can attach the toilet paper mask to the toilet paper holder. Here are the two screws sticking out. The built up piece of wood I added that has the cutout is going to go right over the end of this toilet paper holder and then I'm going to attach it onto the screws with a zip tie. Tighten it up. Feed the toilet paper through the cat's mouth. And look at this. I am having to change the lights from horizontal to vertical so that there is room for the toilet paper roll. Toilet paper is ready to be used. Snip off the end of the zip tie so you don't see it. Pull the toilet paper out as much as you need. Turn off the light and this is what you got. I love this. So much fun. 
Happy Halloween.